yippee-yo. Horses are the best by far. Yippee-yay, yippee-yo. So saddle up, boys, and saddle up well, and listen to the story that I have to tell. Yippee-yay, yippee-yay, yippee-yo. Oh, hello. My name's Marty Markman. Here we are, back at the good old Triple R again. This is my third summer here, and boy, what a summer. Oh, here comes Spin. You remember Spin, don't you? He's my best friend, and we sure had a wonderful time together, even if we did get into a couple of silly hassles. Oh, and I think I'd better let him help me tell you about some of the exciting things that happened this year. I'll need help. Yeah, we had quite a time for ourselves. The trouble started with Marty's car. That's the hopped-up job he and I built last winter. That's Zephyr gears, hot cam, two carburetors, and purred like a kitten. But Perkins hated it right from the start. He said it was more like an ornery mountain lion than a kitten. Yeah, old Perky was so mad about having to drive it that he not only got arrested for speeding, but as soon as we got here to the ranch, well, all heck busted loose. Hey, Marty, open the hood, quick! It was a tough break for us, all right. For me and Spin, I mean, after all our hard work. But Moochie, as usual, thought it was a perfect start for a summer of fun. Oh, boy, just like old times. All right, sir, tell me off this way. Hey, what's up? We, we had fun, too. Plenty of it. Oh! <laughs> We sure could have gotten along without those rabbits of Moochie's. We had to spend our whole first day building a house for them. Boy, this is going to be a neat little house. Yep, it's going to be a homey little shack, all right. Here's your straw, Mooch. Why don't you watch out what you're doing? That was just the beginning. That night, Dynamite. You remember old Dynamite, the white stallion? <laughs> Well, he came down from the hills and raided the corrals. <laughs> Stole about a dozen of our best mares. Skyrocket tried to warn us, but we were all too busy pounding our ears. The dynamite made his getaway and took to the hills. Well, the next day, when Bill Burnett, uh, he's our counselor, you remember, and a real swell guy, too, and Mr. Logan, the owner of the Triple R. And he's okay, too. Well, as I was saying, the next morning when they found out about the missing mares, Bill decided to go out in the range and find them. And believe it or not, Mr. Logan let me and Marty go along with him. He figured that if we didn't know enough about horses by now to keep out of trouble, we never would. However, he thought it might be a good idea for Perkins to come along with us, on account of Graham, you know. Come on, Perkins, quit stalling. Ooh. I've heard of better ideas. By noon, we were way out on the range, but not a sign of that wacky white stallion or any of the mares. Bill figured that he'd probably run him into the foothills, so on we went after him. I guess you're surprised to see Moochie way out here on the range. Well, we were pretty surprised ourselves when we found out about it later. You see, Mr. Logan wouldn't let him go along with us, but the minute his back was turned, this stubborn little rascal sneaked off after us. Oh, yes, he got punished for disobeying orders, all right. But that was later, too. Much later. Because in the meantime, he got lost. Good and lost. He even tried to get little old Mr. Prairie Dog to help him find us. But no luck. Hi! Have you seen Spin or Bill or Marty? Or even Dynamite? I guess it wouldn't do much good if you had. He couldn't tell me. Did you ever try and get any information out of a prairie dog? Well, by nightfall, we still hadn't caught up with dynamite, so we decided to get a good night's rest and resume the search in the morning. That was when Moochie finally caught up with us. My gosh, it's Moochie. Moochie? He's sound asleep. Hey, Mooch, wake up. Come on, wake up. It's Bill. Come on, Mooch. Hmm? What time is it? 
Where am I? What's going on around you? I didn't mean to run away. I'm sorry. He'd been riding around the range all day and half the night, and by now he was a pretty scared little boy, and dead tired and remorseful and starved. So what could we do but forgive him, feed him, and bed him down for the night, looking like the little pink angel he wasn't? Well, Bill was just going to take Moochie back to the ranch so Mr. Logan could punish him as he deserved when we spotted dynamite. Hey, look! And the chase was on. And boy, what a chase it turned out to be. guessed it. Perkins turned out to be the hero of the whole thing. Help! Somebody help! Even though it doesn't look much like it here. Help! 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 <laughs> well, you've seen a few of the things that happened during the chase after dynamite. And now I'd like to tell you about some of the things that happened back at the ranch while we were gone. And after we got back. Well, first of all, Joe, Speckle, and Ambitious, and the rest of the kids decided to clean up my jalopy, sort of figuring to surprise me and Spin. Well, they surprised us all right. Oh, brother. Joe started up the motor to find out if the fire had hurt it in him. Holy smokes, it was in gear! beautiful new stove that had set Mr. Logan back 200 bucks or better. Spin and I didn't find out about it until we got back from the range, and then we realized that we were in real trouble. Of course, the kids hadn't done it on purpose, but we felt that it was only right and fair for us to pay for the damages. The question was, how? We only had $9.98 between us, and we didn't have a single thing we could sell or raise money on except Moochie's rabbits, and when somebody mentioned selling them, Moochie set up such a howl that we had to give up the idea. Oh, no, you don't. It was Darlene who finally came up with the idea that saved our shirt. She's the new girl over at the camp across the lake. Yeah, she's swell. Her mother's an actress. That's how she happened to think of the deal. <laughs> yeah, you guessed it. She sold us the idea of putting on a show and charging 50 cents a piece for the tickets. Mr. Logan bought the idea, too, and turned the barn over to us for use as a little theater. And we all worked like beavers, building the stage and painting the scenery and making costumes. Darlene was the stage manager, and a darn good one, too. Ambitious was her assistant, and everything whizzed along in tip-top order. Spin and I practiced a soft shoe routine. Boy, were we clumsy. Speak for yourself. Oh, wait a minute, fellas, please. Well, anyway, Darlene and Perkins finally had to show us how to do it. didn't need much rehearsing. He was pretty good right from the start. Darlene had planned a Robin Hood skit, and everybody wanted to play Robin Hood. 
We all got so worked up about it that we even dreamed about it. good this time. Me too. Look at him. I'm afraid we're going to have trouble with that loco stallion. It could be. Let's gather up our horses and get them back to the ranch. Bill. Hi. Hi, boys. How you doing? Well, did you get the horses in all right? Yeah. Hank's bringing them in. <laughs> Good. Think you can take another summer? I sure do. I just hope we have as much fun as we did last year. <laughs> Maybe with a little less excitement, though, huh? What? You mean no fights or bee stings or broken arms? Wild young Comanches falling out of their saddles? That was a pretty bad fall Spin took. Could have really been serious. I hope those two young Bantams get along better this year. I got kind of sick of their squabbling. Well, I don't think we'll have much trouble. I understand they've been seeing quite a bit of each other last winter. Spin and Marty? Yeah. I saw Marty's grandmother just before I left town. I gather from her they're as thick as a couple of old red cows. Well, I'll be darned. Let's hope they stay that way. Hello, Mr. Logan. Hi, Hi Bill. Hi, Joe. Good to see you again. Hello, Ambitious. Hi. Welcome back to the Triple R. Couldn't wait to get here, Mr. Burnett. Me too. Spin and Marty show up yet? Not yet, Ambitious, but maybe they're... Well, they're uh... coming, aren't they? Don't worry, Joe. They'll be along. Gosh, you had me scared there for a minute. 
Hey, it's the horses. Come on, we'll see ya. Sure beats all. What's that? They're not little boys anymore. Uh, they've really grown in one short year. If they're not careful, they'll be tripping over their long gray beards. <laughs> Do you think you're doing the right thing, Spec, by giving away all your pets? I told you, Dad. Just be sure to get good homes for them. Hey, Spec, they're bringing in the horses. You're right with you, Joe. You've been pretty fond of those white mice and the goldfish and Wiggly. Please, Dad, I haven't got time to argue about a measly little old garter snake. I hope you're not being influenced by that girl at school. I know she dislikes frogs and snakes, but... Uh... She's right, Dad. There are more important things in life than white mice and snakes. I gotta go now, Dad. Bye. Give my love to Mom. See ya. Boy, are they full of spring. Yeah, it's sure gonna be a lot of work riding them. Say, are you gonna spend all your time just sitting around like last year? No, I'm sort of figuring on lying down part of the time. <laughs> Say, that's not Ollie. No, that's his cousin. Ollie had to go into town on some business, Mr. Logan said. They're Skyrocket. Boy, he sure looks good. You'd never think to look at him now. He almost died last year, would you? He was pretty sick, all right. Poor guy. Good thing he's tough. Maybe it was because Marty liked him so much. He just wouldn't let him die. Yeah. How's it going, Moochie? Oh, fine. Except I had a little bit of trouble with Mom and Dad. You know how folks are. Always worrying about their kids. Gosh, by the way Mom cried, you thought she was never going to see me again. And I just can't stand crying. <laughs> Quite a young man, aren't you, Moochie? Yep, I'm eight going on nine. Say, you are getting along. Yes, sir. I'm a rip, snort, and untamed maverick that ain't scared of nothing. A real rough hombre. Well, I'd be, better be getting over to the bunkhouse. Uh, need any help? Who, me? No, thanks. better mosey on over to the bunkhouse. Well, what for? We gotta change, don't we? None pack? What's the rush? We've got all summer, haven't we? Come on, hot spur. Quit your griping. Don't see why we have to start working right off the bat. Come on, we're off on the trip. <laughs> With a busted leg? Darn it, I told Mom not to put all those socks and underpants and stuff in my duffel bag. You think I was gonna stay here for the rest of my life? Couldn't stay in a better place, Mooch. Here, let's give you a hand. It feels great to be back at the old Triple R again. I hope we don't have to work as hard as we did last year. There you go. Griping already. Hey, fellas, I hear a car. I bet you it's been already. Let's go for the dump. Hey, that's not Marty's car. It is Marty. It's Ben. And Perkins. We're here, we're here, we're here. Oh, thank heaven we 
we made it. <laughs> I never thought we would in this beastly car. It's time to hang your saddle up. We'll soon be bedding down to rest. Good night, good night. We put the sleepy cattle up. The yellow moon is hanging in the west. Let's go and throw. A lasso on a dream. Good night, sleepy cowpost. Good night. Way up there on the triple R. Yippee! Horses are the best by far. Yippee! Yippee! So saddle up, boys, and saddle up well, and listen to the story that I have to tell. Yippee! 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 Yo! we made it. I never thought we would in this beastly car. Perkins? Oh, I'm sorry, Master Martin. I mean, Marty, uh, sir, but you must admit it's enough to try the patience of a saint. Wretched monster defies me at every turn. It's not the car, Perkins, old boy. It's you. You just don't understand it. Oh. Hi, it's Ben. Hi, 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 Hi Perkins. Hey. Oh, Quite a contraption you guys got here. It's a honey, isn't it? Ben and I build it. All by yourself. Yeah. Sure. How long to take you? Oh, gosh, most all winter. We can only work on it Saturdays and after school. Yeah, we got the engine and the frame and a wrecking company. Got a three-quarter race cam and Zephyr gears. And two carburetors. Gee, no kidding. He purrs like a little old pussycat. Pussycat, indeed. More like an angry lion, I'd say, sir. <laughs> Perkins. Well, here, I'll kick it over. You can hear for yourself. circuit or something. Well, you're lucky it didn't explode. <laughs> Pity it didn't, sir. There you go again, Perkins. It's all your fault. Well, really, sir. Next thing you'll be accusing me of deliberately setting fire to it. Well, you're always picking on it. No wonder everything goes wrong. I can assure you, Master Martin, I didn't wish to drive it in the first place. Well, you know Graham won't let me drive it. She doesn't think I'm old enough. At least not till my next birthday. Gee, that's a gift. Don't look to me like the engines hurt much. Well, you can stop worrying. We'll help you guys fix it up. I took auto mechanics to school last year. What's auto mechanics? That's what you ought to have done, Half Pint, instead of what you did. <laughs> oh. oh, boy, how corny can you get? <laughs> What's going on here? We had a fire at Coolwood. Fire? Who owns this thing? It's Marty's. Yeah, it looks like a real speed demon, too. It was. It did 60 or better on the straightaway. 60? Brother is, so one of you didn't get arrested. We did. No kidding. That's the reason we're late, sir. 
I had rather a difficult time squaring things with that constable. Most unreasonable fellow. Well, it's a wonder he didn't toss you in the clink. <laughs> well, uh, how about you boys getting over the bunkhouse and getting your things unpacked? You'll have plenty of time to fix up this contraption later on. I'm gonna get cleaned up. I'm a mess. I'll settle for a nice, cool shower myself. I thought we were gonna have a nice, quiet summer. Well, here we are again. Sure looks good to me. Boy, we're gonna have ourselves a ball. No, I'll say. Anybody seen Skyrocket yet? I've seen them all, and they're plenty full of pep. I got wore out just watching them. Gosh, I can hardly wait to see old Skyrocket. Say, Spin, let's change our clothes, go down to the corral and see them. Okay, it's a deal. Hiya, Bat and Mike. How are you? What you got there, Mooch? Pat and Mike. Pat and Mike? Yeah, I got them for my birthday. Rabbits? Oh, brother, that's just what we need around here. Well, you're not going to keep them, are you, Mooch? Why not? Because it's against the rules, that's why. I'm fully with the old rules. There's no pets allowed except the horses. Yeah, that's right, Moochie. And I know you wouldn't want to break any of the rules. But I gotta keep them here, Mr. Burnett. We live in a park and they don't allow us to have any pets. And Mom says if I can't keep them here, I'll have to give them away. And I got them for my birthday and I love it. Oh, now, 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 <laughs> Moochie, Moochie. Don't get so excited. If they mean that much to you, well, maybe something can be arranged. Sure, we'll build a pen for them. And help take care of them. And feed them. Please, Mr. Burnett. They only eat a little bit of stuff, like carrot and celery and stuff. It's not that, Moochie. We'll keep the pen clean, too, and... Well, now, wait a minute, Joe. Speak for yourself. Please, Mr. Burnett. Well... You mean I can't? Tell you what. I'll speak to Mr. Logan about it, and maybe I can talk him into it. I promise there won't be any trouble. Okay, Moochie. You win. Come on, Spin. Let's hurry up and get down to the corral. Okay. Oh, well, Mr. Logan, I just wanted to tell you the horses are all in and raring to go. Oh, good. They'll get plenty of exercise once those young hyenas get organized. Oh, we had to chase that wild white stallion off again. Dynamite? Is he still around? Yeah. Him and Skyrocket almost got in a fight. Oh, he's getting to be a nuisance. Scared one of the girls' horses half to death last year. Well, don't you worry. I'll see he doesn't come prowling around here. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I don't want any more trouble with that ornery galoot. I don't blame you. Thanks, Hank. My name's Marty. Oh, Mr. Polo, huh? Pleased to meet you, Polo. <laughs> You've been talking to Ollie. How about that, Marty? You been playing much polo lately? I'll go jump in a lake. This is Spin. Hi. He tells crummy jokes, but he's a fair athlete. Just always grabbing off all the top prizes. <laughs> Speak for yourself, pal. I understand you're pretty good boxers, too, both of you. Oh, we don't fight anymore. That's kid stuff. Yeah, we made a New Year's resolution. Never to fight again. Hey, they're Sailor. Hiya, Sailor. How you been, fella? It's funny, isn't it? Huh? You know, how those horses remember us kids. Well, they should. You treat them pretty well. Don't look now, but I think you're being paged. Skyrocket. You old rascal. Did you miss me? Yeah, I missed you too. Looks pretty good, doesn't he? He's a little jumpy today. Jumpy? You almost got in a fight with that wild stallion that's always hanging around. You mean dynamite? Yeah, he just won't leave the saddle horses alone. You know, sometimes I feel sorry for that poor guy. That he gets lonesome out there on the range all by himself. You may have to do something about him if he don't behave himself. What's the matter? Want your sugar? You didn't think I'd forgotten you, did you? Here you go. I'll never forget you, old boy. Oh. Hello. Oh, I, I, 
I'm sorry. I, I'm looking for Sam. I, Sam. I mean Sam the cook. I, Sam the cook. Really? What a coincidence. You see, I met my friend Sam who was here last year. Oh, you, Sam, he got other job. I take his place this summer. Oh. You must be Mr. Perkins, huh? Right you are. And jolly glad I am to meet you, Sam, old boy. <laughs> Me jolly glad to meet you too, Mr. Perkins. I hear plenty about you. Did you really? Well, then you must have heard that I functioned as Sam's assistant last year. Very fine assistant, too, I hear. Maybe this year you'll help me, too. Make chow for young rascals, eh? Indeed I will, Sam, old boy. And you know something? I brought along a couple of ripping new recipes. We tried them out. New stove. New stove? I say, what a beauty. Mr. Rogan, very proud of him. Put him back plenty, he say. Well, now we must whip up something really top hole. Him got plenty top holes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> this is very top hole indeed. <laughs> Good gracious, what's that? New invention. Oven makes music when rolls him done. Sing loud for rare, soft for medium, for well done, very soft. Whatever will they think up next? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know. I was figuring on leaving that up to you boys. Oh, no, not again. Will the girls be here? Across the lake, I mean. Well, they're already here, Joe. Blew in yesterday. Well, you rock and roll, let's go. Oh, why do we always have to have a bunch of girls around? That's bad. Hey, what's with you? I thought you were just an old snipe hunter. A guy can change his mind, can't he? Mm-hmm. That and it's quite an item. How about that, Marty? Yeah, and that's pretty sharp, all right. All right, boys, I'll tell you what. This year, we're going to have riding and roping and swimming and hiking and all the usual things. But for the final event, I'm going to let you decide for yourselves what you want to do. Maybe you'd like to take a vote on it. Yeah, that's a great idea. That's what we want. Now you can have a dance, another swimming meet, a rodeo, or whatever you can dream up. Uh, that is within reason. And uh, I'll give you a couple of weeks to think it over. How's that sound to you? That's a very nice Why can't we have something new this year? Like what, Big Shot? Well, maybe a shooting match. Moochie? Maybe a ping pong match? <laughs> we could have a pie eating contest. Mm. Hey, gang, what's wrong with a track meet? We all know. I'm sick of tangling with those North Fork guys. <laughs> Me too. I'll settle for another dance. Oh, what fun. Hey, I got it. Why don't we have a hog calling contest? Sue! 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 Way out there on the Ripple R. Yippee, yippee, oh. Horses are the best by far. Yippee, yippee, oh. So saddle up, boys, and saddle up well, and listen to the story that I have to tell. Yippee-yay, yippee-yay, yippee-yo. Thin as a cowboy, yes siree. Yippee-yay, yippee-yo. Best ever seen by you or me. Yippee-yay, yippee-yo. When he jumps in the saddle, what a sight to see. Cause he's got the pony's tail where his head should be. Yippee-yay, yippee-yay, yippee-yo. Burnett tells us right from wrong. Yippee, yippee, oh. And he sings a doggone purdy song. Yippee, yippee, oh. Once a bull chased Burnett through the hay, but it didn't stop his singing, they went that away. Yippee, yippee, ah, yippee, oh. Jolly old England was my home. Yippee, yippee, oh. But in my youth I wish to roam. Yippee, yippee, oh. Little did I dream of going so far to be a cow poker for the triple R. Yippee, 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 oh. When we go to the swimming hole, yippee, yippee, oh. We bring along a fishing pole, yippee, yippee, oh. If the fish won't bite and the weather's hot, last one in is you know what. Yippee, 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 oh. 
Up in the morning with the sun. Yippee yay, yippee yo. He won't come back till day is done. Yippee yay, yippee yo. No one thought to bring a bike. We don't care because we love to hike. Yippee yay, yippee ah, yippee yo. Sure is nice. Huh? To be back at the good old Triple R again. Yeah, it's neat. Look at that moon. Same old moon's been up there all the time. You know, the stars sure are bright out here. Hey, there's a Big Dipper. Yeah, and the North Star. And Venus. Good old Venus. Where? Over there, just dropping down behind the ridge. That's how she broke her arm. <laughs> <laughs> Ben, how do you get girls to like you? I don't know. They just do, I guess, or they don't. Why? Oh, nothing. I was just thinking. What a jazz Joe. He has a system. He plays it cool. And that really kills him. Yeah. All right, boys. Let's have one more song, and then we'll call it a day. Yeah. We gotta get up early tomorrow. Well, what for? Ambitious, you're getting lazier every day. <laughs> Well, I don't see why we can't get a little extra shut-eye. At least the first day. We got work to do, that's why. I'll say we gotta build a house for Pat and Mike. Bill, why don't we sing Slewfoot Sue? Good old Slewfoot Sue. Now this is the story of Slewfoot Sue. A real tall gal, about 80 foot two. She was a beauty, sure enough. But though good looking, she was plenty tough. Cactus breeches she did wear with a brand and iron. She'd curl her hair. She'd ride a whale to the ocean's roll and picked her teeth with a tail of grand pole. Slewfoot, 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 slew. A ring-tailed female buckaroo. Rattlesnakes ran and wildcats too. Keep it away from slewfoot, slew. Slewfoot, slew. The day that she became a bride, Slewfoot thought she'd take a ride. Jumped on a horse that belonged to Bill, lit right over the top of the hill. Then that horse, he started to buck, buck so high she had to duck to keep from hitting her head on the moon. Didn't come down till the next day noon. Slewfoot, 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 Slew. A ring-tailed female buckaroo. Rattlesnakes ran and wildcats too. Keep it away from Slewfoot, Slew. Slewfoot, Slew. Buckaroo. Eighty-foot two. Slewfoot, Slew. Sue had a bustle in her wedding gown. You know what happened when she came down? Hit the prairie with the bustle and then bounced back up to the moon again. Seven whole days she bounced around, up to the moon and down to the ground. Except for Bill, she'd be bouncing yet, but he roped her with his lariat. Slewfoot, 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 Sue. A ring-tailed female buckaroo. Rattlesnakes ran and wildcats too. Keeping it away from Slewfoot, Sue. Slewfoot, Sue. Buckaroo. Eighty-foot two. Slewfoot, Sue. Slewfoot, Sue. Slewfoot, Sue. Slewfoot, Sue.
matter? I don't know. The horses sound kind of restless. I don't hear anything. It sounded like Skyrocket. Oh, they're always restless when they come in from the range. Yeah. Go to sleep, will you? Good night. Mm -hmm. Good night, sleepy cowpokes. Good.